What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we got day 5 of the 2022 Chicago Bears training camp, a quick little recap of today's practice and some big trade rumors that we have to talk about today so lots to get into but first of all general information about today's practice it was no pads initially it was said that monday will be the first padded practice but as it looks like today they train with no pads so they will put them on tomorrow and on wednesday it was also close to the public so lesser information lesser videos and not that play by play um just information given out by reporters so that's kind of rough always because they always give out the information at the end of the day and obviously don't recall every single play so with that being said, let's get right into it and start with talking about the offensive performance today. And in general, it was a pretty rough day today for the offense overall. The defensive definitely won the day and dominated a lot. The offensive line collapsed a couple of times. And also a very bad two-minute offensive drill just overshadowed the entire day. Uh, it was just bad execution overall simple mistakes today and it was not very pleasing for offensive coordinator Luke Getze. Justin Fields himself did okay per reports but the defense really put him under pressure today so he did not have really a lot of time to make a lot of throws and had to escape the pocket a lot. Um, the nicest or the best play today was a deeper throw to Kari Blazen game, the fullback. So he was mentioned today. Nice seeing that. I only read about him once and that was with a drop where he was wide open and just simply dropped it with no man around him. So that was nice seeing him being mentioned and he by reports also made an incredible diving catch there. So that's cool. Also, the Mooney Fields connection is continuing to show out. Uh, lots of completions today between those two guys. And also, Justin had a interception today to Joe Thomas, a linebacker. But it wasn't a tip ball. It was just a good play by the defense. Uh, the ball got tipped by Jalen Johnson and then intercepted. And with that, there's not a lot of things about the other skill players today. It wasn't mentioned anything about the other wide receivers nor the running backs. So with that, let's already move on to the offensive line today. And with that, we also have to talk about probably the biggest topic that's surrounding today's practice or entire day for the Bears organization is some Tevin Jenkins trade rumors. <music> It is rumored that Tevin Jenkins and the Bears especially are receiving trade calls for Tevin and that's obviously uh, kind of shocking to hear. He was a second round pick last season. Last year had his rookie year, had back issues and then actually got to play in that Green Bay game when Jason Peters went down. I think looked actually solid but since the start of the offseason program, it seems like the staff, the coaching staff, uh, Ryan Poles are not really getting along with Tevin Jenkins. And also from his side, like it seems like he is not really accepting the coaching. So he was once again not at practice today, not available, not practicing with the team. He's still, quote, working with some trainers by Coach Eberflus. And I mean, if a player doesn't buy into your coaching or into your organization, why keeping him around? Obviously, he's a big, talented player that showed a lot of athleticism and just that nastiness that I was so excited about when he got drafted, actually. But, I mean, if he doesn't really develop the way you want him to be, and also for him, it's not great to be in an organization that doesn't really believe into him. I think it is the best move to actually get him out of Chicago. I mean, Right now, it's probably still his peak of value, so you could still get at least some good draft compensation with a with moving him. But I mean, that's something we have to wait and see. It's interesting to see that he's actually getting calls, and I mean, the Bears are, I think, actually listening to those. I mean, it doesn't seem like they had him locked into the lineup, anyways, as a starter. So it's actually kind of shocking or sad to see that Tevin Jenkins go down like that already, but. I mean, it's a situation that we definitely have to keep an eye on, and I will definitely keep you updated if anything will happen. But I think that was definitely noteworthy to talk about. Obviously, uh, a big offensive lineman that we have a lot of potential. So, yeah, a guy that's potentially leaving the Bears with spending not a lot of time here. As for the rest of the offensive line today, left tackle was Riley Reith with Braxton Jones again, then Cody Weiher, then Doug Kramer and Sam Mustafer at center. 
to Tyree Carter and Michael Schofield split reps at right guard and Larry Borum was at right tackle again. So, I mean, if Tevin Jenkins actually gets traded, I think with Larry Borum, we have a very, very talented right tackle there for the future. And he looked really good at right tackle last season, uh, especially for a rookie so I don't have any worries about him. As for left tackle, Braxton Jones is developing quite light, nicely as well as Riley Reap just being a very experienced veteran there. So I think the tackle position at the moment is not that bad. So moving Tevin would kind of make sense. But I think uh, the offensive line has a pretty strong rotation at the moment. Obviously, Lucas Patrick being out. But... The offensive line also struggled today. A lot of pressures have been allowed. They're still searching for their rhythm, it seems like. So not a great day by them, but overall I think we have a solid offensive line at the moment. And with that being said, it already wraps it up for the offense today. Like I said, a pretty rough day. And with that being said, let's move on to the defensive performance today. And with the defense, the defensive line actually drew the biggest headline of today with absolutely dominating the offensive line. The first guy I want to mention is Travis Gibson, our up-and-coming star defensive lineman. Uh, he had, per reports, lots of pressures today and also a sack. Also, al Kadeen Muhammad with a very strong day once again, had a pretty good day yesterday as well, but today even better, had multiple sacks and pressures, so that's nice seeing the acquisition of the Colts, who just comes up of his best career season, is developing nicely as well, he's not that old, so there's a lot of potential with him. Then you have rookie Dominique Robinson, who's just an athletic freak. He continues to impress and had a sack today as well, so I love seeing that. And also Kyrus Tonga, one of our defensive tackles, was also mentioned today. That's something I love. Tonga is definitely one of my favorite players, just a sneaky good player that does all the dirty work on the field. And he had a sack as well today, so nice seeing him getting along as well. Uh, for me, it was kind of in doubt which kind of a role he will take on in a 4-3 defense but he can still utilize him as a run stopper nonetheless and I mean if he shows out and gets sacks that's obviously great as well he was a seventh round pick last season and just displayed so many great things and I can't wait and see how he continues uh, developing all along as for the linebackers Roquan Smith was there today just not in cleats practicing he just watched the defense from the outside as for Joe Thomas actually made a play today, he had an interception after that pass breakup of Jalen Johnson, uh, the one that I've already talked about with Justin Fields. So that's nice seeing the linebackers actually making plays. And for the defensive backs today, Jalen Johnson with another good day. That nice pass breakup on Mooney that led to that interception was cool. And also the secondary in general performed quite well. Thomas Graham Jr., I have an update on him as well today. He's dealing with a hamstring injury and definitely will miss some time. It's in doubt if he's actually available for week one. I mean, I'm kind of confident into the secondary at the moment with Jalen Johnson, Kyler Gordon, Chaquan Brisker, Eddie Jackson, also Kendall Vildor. I mean, not super confident to Kendall Vildor, but having him as a backup. Tavon Young as the starting nickel, as it looks like. DeAndre Houston Carson, Duke Shelley, like. The defensive backs are looking quite nice this season and are emerging as one of the biggest strengths of the Bears roster. But, I mean, Thomas Graham Jr. is still a talented player that you definitely want to see on the field. So, I will definitely keep you updated if anything new comes out about him as well. There is no timetable for return at the moment. I mean, I don't think he will miss a lot of time. But, like I said, it's still in doubt that he will play in week one. So, let's see what happens with that. As for special teams today, no extra section today because there was nothing reported about it actually. So that's something we just have to live by with these close practices. Not that much information will be given out. But I think still a pretty interesting day. The defense absolutely dominated the offense today. So they definitely still have some work to do. But they will definitely get it fixed in my opinion. The coaching staff just seems competent enough to just get them into the right direction fast so i'm not that worried about it so that wraps up the episode guys i hope you've enjoyed it like and subscribe if you like the video check out instagram if you want to as well and as always guys bear down